Hey everyone, today I'm going to do a tutorial, or really rather a response, not really a response, but a follow-up kind of tutorial on, uh, kit, not, no, that's me, uh, sorry, um, parametric houses, uh, tutorial on using the node of pipe variable, and, uh, I have experience using pipe variable, and I wanted to show you guys that, so I will link, uh, parametric houses link in the description as well, uh, he does make great tutorials, and I really would highly recommend him. Uh, now, anyways, I'm going to start with that. I did this for my studio project, so I do know how to do this um, because of just me kind of messing around and experimenting around and seeing how Grasshopper kind of works. This is my first time using it, so uh, it is a little—I want—it's a little unorthodox method, but it's a method that I figured out that worked out for me. So I'm definitely going to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a sphere here in the center. And I'm going to put this in a, a shaded view. So now that we have this in a shaded view, we can now do a plane. And I'm going to cut this in half. And I don't know why this is in rendered view. Alright. Uh, now I'm going to do a split. Actually, I'm going to do a regular split. Alright. And now we have this. Um... Sorry, one sec. Let me see if I can delete that. All right, cool. Um, it's a bit laggy. Sorry, my film is a bit laggy. I do have a lot of stuff open, just schoolwork and stuff. So the way I figure this out is I'm going to do a line. So I will do a line. Hold on. I will show you guys one sec though. Um, I have made this sphere and I cut it in half. So the goal of it is to project these kind of webbings and actually this thing that will trail along. Uh, sorry if you hear that in the background. I apologize if you hear that noise in the background. That's my 3D printer. Uh, but anyways, um, the goal is to make this sort of webbing that will be pipes that will go along this entire uh, surface. And if you guys don't understand that, uh, just watch as I go. So I'm going to do, I am going to reference this into Grasshopper. I'll reference it as a surface. And I'm going to do a set one surface. And, cool. and I like to hide my geometry as well. Or actually, or I, hide, I like to hide it on new layers. So I like to put it as, let's say this layer, and then hide it. And then I'll go into top view. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw lines, turn off ortho, that are going to span all the way across this uh, sphere, or half sphere. Truncated, not really truncated, it's just cut in half. Maybe truncated means cut in half, I think. I can't remember. Um, so I'm just going to go places that will go along it. There is no actual order to this. I'm just kind of slicing into the sphere area. And uh, let's do that. All right, cool. So now that I have that, I'm going to highlight all this. Go to Grasshopper. Reference the curves. Set multiple curves. And now the reference, see? So now you have the sphere. And now you have this curves. So what you're going to do now is what I'm going to do is actually uh, put all these curves on another layer. Probably this purple one here and hide that as well. So now that if I highlight any of the geometry, I don't want to mess with it. Uh, I don't want to mess with it until I get everything, the script set up. So I'm going to align these. Uh, so what we're going to do is I'm going to do a project. So it's this one, the line to the surface. And I am going to now have the curve and then the B-Rep, which is actually stands for, uh, what was it? Man, I cannot remember. I, I looked this, I had this up before. I cannot remember. It was something multiple Boolean representation. It was Boolean representation or something. I can't remember. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. So once I have those curves projected, I want to project them onto this sphere surface. Now everything looks the same, right? If we go up to here and turn off these curves, we can see they're actually projected onto the onto the surface here, as you can see, which is really, really interesting as it kind of webs and kind of grips around the surface. So once we do that, uh, this is where the pipe variable comes in. I'm going to do a pipe variable where it's smaller here and then grows large here and then grow small at the ends. So the ends of it will be, actually I'm going to do the inverse. The ends of it will be large and the middle will be smaller. So as for a curve, 
parameter, radii, and caps. So the parameter you have to do an evaluate. You have to do an evaluate uh, length. So you have to plug this in because a parameter you have to actually output a parameter for this pipe variable to work. So it asks for lengths. So I'm going to put in in a series. Do I want to put in a panel or do I want mm, lengths? I want it at zero. Uh, 0.5 and then 1. So that's basically the end of the curve, the middle of the curve, and the other end of the curve. 1 is the largest number if we respect. So if the whole curve, let's say, is 20 feet, 1 will represent 20. And if I say 0.5, it basically means 10 feet. And if I say 0, it means 0, no matter what. So I'm going to do curve. I'm going to plug in my parameters, and I'm going to do a panel here, and this one uh, will be, let's say, we'll start with 0 0.5, 0 0.25, and 0 0.5. Uh, so it ends with the bigger ones being on the bottom. And uncheck multi-line data, and plug those in. And wow, those are large. So I'm going to change that actually to something smaller. Uh, 0 0.125. 0 0.25. Alright. I'm going to change it a little smaller. It's, it's, it's huge. Sorry. I just want to, I want it to be accurately represented. Uh, 0 0.0625. And actually, I want to change this to something smaller. So as you can see, it is working. It's actually making the uh, ends smaller, or sorry, the ends bigger. So right now it's at um, 0.125 feet. I put this in feet for some reason. I don't know why. And then you have now, or we can use this one, 0 0.125 feet. And then I have 0 0.03125 feet here, so that means half of it, halfway through, it has to equal this radius, and then at the end, it has to equal that radius. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this. I'm going to cap this real quick. Um, and now, you have different caps. You can do a flat one or a round one. Uh, so I like to do a zero here, and then set my range to two. That's just the way I like doing it. And then plugging this in. And then I can change between caps if I really... So I'm going to click the flat ones right now and actually bake it. Again, I apologize for the noise, but that's my uh, that's my printer and I'm running a print for a mold I'm going to do later for project, studio project. So, that's an interesting type of prospect of how it kind of webs around a surface. And uh, yeah, I that's, that's another way of using pipe variable as an application of actually... Taking, taking a surface, which I have, taking those lines, projecting it onto the surface, and then making the pipes. So it gives you that surface. So for example, let, <clears throat> sorry about that. We don't even have to use pipe variable in this one. It's just, just the, way I, the way I made it applicable. So another way you could use this is, let's say, I'm actually going to extend the video um, a little bit, because uh, I just found something interesting. <laughs> So let's say you have interpret curve, I'm going to do top, uh, the front, and then I'm going to do this versus this. Let's say that, and then I'm going to move this here, and I'm going to loft these. I could loft them in a grasshopper as well, if you want to do that, you can do that as well. So you can see what the loft of geometry looks like. But for right now, let's say that's the final surface I wanted. Now, I w let's say I want lines to run all the way across this. So I'm going to do a line. I'm going to draw. I'm going to actually first. First, I'm going to reference this. Uh, oh, boundary representation. That's what it stands for. <laughs> B rep. Uh, set one rep. Cool. And then you can put this in this hidden layer. Sorry, I'm making sure my print's fine. I, heard, I keep hearing some loud noise and I think something's going wrong. 
Uh, then I do curve here. And then we can actually draw some curves on here. Doesn't have to be lines, it can just be a curvature. Alright, let's just say these crazy curves right here. And I'm actually gonna put oh oopsie. I'm actually gonna put it lower to it. And then reference set multiple curves. And now we can do a project again. Boundary representation curve. And you see it projects it onto that surface. Now you don't have to use, now you can just use pipe variable, can use pipe, uh, just make it 0 0.25, let's say, da da da. Now we can just do this, right, but that's, in my opinion, kind of boring, kind of bland. If you want that, you can just do pipe, and there's nothing wrong with pipe, I just, this is just the way you can do it as well. You can also do a sweep, sweep one, uh, I'm not very good with this command, just letting you know, I'm not amazing at it so the railing is the curves sections is what section curves do you want rail so we can do a polygon and we can make this four uh, we can make this now as well all right cool and then we can do Sorry, I heard something. <laughs> I keep, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. I apologize for getting distracted so much. We can put the railing in here, the sections in here, and watch them sweep through. And that sweeps very funky. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I'll do another tutorial on sweep when I, you know, understand how it works, kind of. Just to make sure. Uh, polygons. Because I'm not very good with sweep. Um, I'm. Actually, not. That's one of my. I've used sweep a little. I've used sweeped a little bit because I wanted to do pipes with square, so square tube. But I never really got to it, so I'm not very good with that. And I will make a tutorial on that definitely because I really want to learn how to do that. So whatever I really learn, I really share with you guys so I can understand how things work and helps me learn, helps you guys learn. Kind of a trade. So, so yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this. I will go over sweep. I'm sorry that I didn't do it correct. But uh, that's just me. I'm not a perfect modeler. So yeah. So yeah, guys. Uh, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a great day.